Welcome, I am Joshi, and in this play for Marvel Champions, we have She Hulk and Hulk versus Absorbing Man in Expert Difficulty. I have both our Hulk heroes in Justice Aspect. Let's uh, go through the setup. So, setup we discard cards from the encounter deck until an environment card is discarded and put that card into play and shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. There's our environment card. We have the Dense Forest. So, this is going to give Absorbing Man the wood trait. Uh, after Absorbing Man makes an undefended attack against you, you take one indirect damage, and it'll be two indirect damage if there's five or more delay counters on the main scheme. Um, we'll then advance to R1B. So none shall pass. It threats out at uh, 12 threat per player, so 24. Comes in with two threat per player to begin with, so four threat. Forced response after resolving step one of the villain phase. Place one delay counter here. And uh, force interrupt when an environment enters play. Discard the other environment card in play. So we'll keep discarding our uh, environment cards there when we get a new one. Uh, Absorbing Man himself, he has a scheme of two, attack of two. He gains the trait of each environment in play. And we have a render, when revealed effect here uh, to find super absorbing power and put it into play and shuffle the encounter deck. So there's super absorbing power. So this will come in with three threat per player, so six. And it gives him all the traits of ice, metal, stone, and wood. Shuffle up the encounter deck. It's coming in with 15 health per player, so 30 health. And we'll drop our decks. Uh, if Jennifer is first player, she gets six cards. We have Under Surveillance, Great Responsibility, Heli Carrier, Quake, Superhuman Law Division, and a For Justice. Um, going to Mulligan, Great Responsibility. I'll... Yeah, I'll keep the rest actually, and so we'll draw one more card. And Agent Coulson. Bruce gets five cards. We have Blindfold, Unstoppable Force, Machine Man, Limitless Strength, and Crushing Blow. Um, You know what, we're just actually going to hang on to these. Just going to try and build allies, perhaps. Alright. So with Jennifer, we will... Use Quake to put in Superhuman Law Division. So as an alter ego action, we can exhaust this to spend and spend a mental resource and remove two threat from a scheme. We're not going to worry about that just now. Actually, maybe. No, we won't. Flip up to She-Hulk. She has a response. Do you even lift? I have to change the form. Deal two damage to enemy. So we'll deal two damage to Absorbing Man. Uh, we'll then spend... We'll spend three resources bringing a Heli Carrier. And then she's going to attack for three. Taking Absorbing Man down to 25. And then we'll have Bruce's turn. Uh, well, we'll use Experimental Research to draw a card, discard a card. We have a Crisis Averted. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually going to hold that throw a Machine Man. I'm going to flip up into Hulk form. We're going to spend three resources for Crisis Averted uh, to remove six threat for the main scheme. It's just going to be four, but we're going to clear that down. We will attack with Hulk for three. Taking Zorby Man down 22. We'll spend two physical resources for an unstoppable force. We ready Hulk and we pay for it using a physical resource. We draw a card. We'll got strength. I was hoping for something we could one cost trigger of the heli carrier, but it doesn't matter. We'll attack for another three. Take an Zoyman down 19 and throw away our strength and ready up. Alright, She Hulk gets four cards. We have an endurance, ground stomp, another ground stomp. And legal practice. 
Hulk gets four cards. We have Suborbital Leap, Energy, Termination, and Limitless Strength. All right. Uh, we get two threat on the main scheme. And one delay counter. Absorbing Man is going to attack She-Hulk. She will just take it. So he's coming in for two plus three, four. And if Absorbing Man has the Ice or Metal trait, which he does, uh, give him a tough status card. So he's going to hit her for four. He gets tough. Tough token right here. And because there's an undefended attack, we also take one indirect damage. He's now going to attack Hulk for two plus four. And again, one indirect damage, taking Hulk down to 13. Get our encounter cards. Unrevealed, place one threat on the main scheme for every two delay counters on the main scheme. If no threat was placed sway, this card gains surge. This is going to surge because there's only one delay counter on the main scheme. Get the Bruce Banner player. Bruce Banner player. So we change form, and then for Bruce Banner, we discard two cards and discard this obligation. Um, all right, we're just going to lose those two. And this will surge, exhaust our identity card. Banner facility. So this also surges. So we man now has, uh, when it's under an attack, we discard one resource icon from our hand. We've got a Hydra Soldier who comes in with Guard. Bruce's first player. We're going to flip up to Hulk. We're going to use Limitless Strength for a Suborbital Leap. Through move 5 Threat from a Scheme. We're going to come off this. That's his turn. Uh, She-Hulk's going to thwart for 1. Get rid of super absorbing power. Just going to use the Halley Carrier to put an endurance, giving her three hit points. We'll then flip down to Jennifer. We're going to exhaust superhuman law division and spend a mental resource to remove two threat from a scheme. And we're going to hold on to these. This will, that'll be it. Hulk gets four cards. It's got a Hulk smash, cipher, crushing blow, and genius. Jennifer gets another four cards. Got great responsibility, counterintelligence, Nick Fury, and genius. Two threat goes in the main scheme, plus another delay counter. Absorb Man is going to attack Hulk for two. He'll take it, plus another two. And if he has Ice or Metal trait, which he does, he gets tough. It doesn't matter, he's already tough. So he's hitting Hulk for four. We take, now uh, when we make an undefended attack, we must spend, discard one resource. Spend uh, Cypher will go. And then this guy's going to hit us for two. Uh, Zoe Man is now going to scheme on Jen's turn for two plus two is three. We will trigger her object ability. So interrupt when threat we placed on a scheme, prevent one of that threat. So he's only going to scheme for two. Get our encounter cards. Piercing Thorns. Discard one card at random from your hand. If he has the wood trait, we also discard one card to control. Doesn't matter in either counts. He doesn't have the wood trait. Plus we don't control a card. And... There goes Crushing Blow. Over here on Jen, we have Avalanche. So when revealed, each player must choose to either spend a energy resource or take two indirect damage. Three indirect damage instead of the five more delay counts main scheme. Hulk's going to take two. I think Jen's going to take two as well. She is. And that comes with a fourth threat. Puts an acceleration icon in play. Uh, Jen is first player. We are going to spend two. 
three and four resources to put in Nick Fury. After Nick Fury is play, we're going to draw three cards. We're counterintelligence, Queen Carrier, and Espionage. We will exhaust Superhuman Law Division. Do a mental resource to remove two threat from a scheme. We'll take it off here. Nick's is going to thwart the other two off here. Taking one consequential damage. Jen is going to flip up. She's going to do, do even lift to do two damage and knock Absorb Man's tough off. Uh, we'll then spend three resources. So put in a Quinn carrier. Do we want to hold on to something? Yeah, it's fine. We'll put in the Queen carrier. Uh, then she will attack for three on this guy. Poor Bruce over here. He is going to flip down and just recover four. Taking him up to nine. We're ready up. We're going to hold on to those cards. Uh, so, Shield gets four cards. We've got Espionage, Power of Justice, Legal Practice, and Four Justice. Bruce gets three more cards. We've got another Hulk Smash, Thunderclap, and Upside the Head. Okay, we get two more threat on the main scheme. And another delay counter. Uh Man is going to attack She-Hulk. Nick Fury is going to defend. So he's coming for two plus nothing. Knocks out Nick Fury. Because we defended, we don't have to trigger that. And over here, he's going to scheme for two plus... Two is four, the heal scheme for one, so making it five. Pushing us to, well, I can make it 11 out of 24. Get our encounter cards. Cut off card, discard and upgrade or support your control. If no cards were discarded this way, this card gains surge. We will we'll lose endurance. Losing three hit points. Over here, uh, this will get Surge. We get Omnimorph Duplication. Uh, he has the Metal Trait, so give Azoi Man a tough status card and heal one damage from him. He gets tough, it goes up to 20. Bruce comes first player. We will. Oh, how annoying. We'll use experimental research to draw a card, discard a card. Limitless strength. Okay. All right. Throw away that. Flip up to Hulk. Actually, no, we won't. We'll, we'll hold on to Thunderclap. Yes, yeah, it's going to be disappointing, but maybe we can get away with this. We will attack for three. Oh, that's going to do it, yeah. No, we're going to attack. We're going to spend one, two, and call for action for the Exhaler Carrier. Hulk smash for the most terrible Hulk smash of all time for one damage onto this guy. That should be there. 
and overkill to knock the tough off. Uh, we defeated him, which gets us an encounter card. We're then going to use our genius for a limitless stamina ready and attack for three. Take Zoidman down to 17. All right, over here, we're going to use a power of justice for justice as mental resources. So remove three threat from the scheme. Four threat if paved is using mental, so we used mental resources, so this will go down to seven. Five, six, seven. Um What did I just do with my remaining cards in my hand? Oh the right here. Then going to oh we can't actually do that, so We'll attack for three. We'll flip down. We're going to do a very sad uh, legal practice, choosing to discard up to five cards from your hand. Uh, it's also eager action. Remove one threat from a scheme for each card discard this way. We'll get rid of espionage. Take another threat off here. Uh, we'll exhaust superhero law division and then spend the queen carrier as a mental resource to remove two threat from a scheme. So taking this down to four. And we're ready up. Jen gets six cards. Well, Hulk gets four cards first. We have a thunderclap, overwatch, blade, and upside the head. Jen gets her six cards. Got count intelligence. 1-2 Punch, Mockingbird, Superhuman Strength, Focused Rage, and uh, Power of Justice. Right, we get 2 Threat, main scheme, get another Delay Counter. Sword Man is going to attack Hulk. Um, yeah, we'll just take it. So 2 plus nothing. It's us for 2. Need to uh, discard one resource from our hand. We will get rid of Thunderclap. Yep. And then over here on Jen, it's going to scheme for two plus put this card into play. So he's now got the stone trait. So after make an undefended attack, he'll heal one damage. Uh, but otherwise he's scheme for two, we will object. So it only becomes one. We'll get our encounter cards. Uh, Hydra Regular with Insight. And a Hydra Soldier with Guard. Gen. Uh, Alter Ego, Absorbing Man's Schemes. If he has the Stone Trait, which he does, he gets plus one to his Scheme for his activation. So he's Scheming for three plus four, five. So, five there. So he's at 13 out of 24. Jen becomes first player. We will source Superhuman Law Division and Quinn Carrier as a mental resource to take two thread off here. We will flip up into She-Hulk form. Do you even lift on the Hydra regular to knock him out? We'll spend Power of Justice to put in a counterintelligence. Maximum of a player, when any amount of threat would be put on the main scheme, we can discard this to prevent three of that threat. We will then What do we want to do with Hulk? Anything in particular? Not especially. So we'll spend, use a shield, helicarrier, and effects rage to put in uh, super strength. Give us plus two attack. 
After shock attacks, uh, the Scarcity of Strength and stun the attacked enemy. We will attack for five on this guy. Because he is defeated, we cannot stun him, so we do not lose superhuman strength because of the cost arrow. Um, Hulk will get an encounter card because of defeating that guy. We'll use Mockingbird to one two punch to ready. And then we will, so after you make base attack, using attack ready, She Hulk, that's what we did there. Then go attack for five on Absorbing Man. And down to nine and triggering the stun from superhuman strength. Over on Hulk's side. Uh, we're going to attack for three. Him down to six. We're going to use Overwatch to pay for an upside the head. After hero makes a basic attack and damage an enemy, confuse an enemy. If they're already confused, we'd also get to stun them, but they, that doesn't matter right now, so we're confusing. And we're going to flip down. We're going to hold on to blade and ready. Uh, She-Hulk gets four cards. We have energy, split personality, strength, and a superhuman strength. Uh, Bruce will get four more cards, take him up to five. We have a Boundless Rage, Lockjaw, Limitless Stamina, and Unstoppable Force. Okay, we get two threat on the main scheme here, which, you know what, it's going to be... I... Let me just... There we go. Two threat. Two threat on the main scheme. Um, and another delay counter. Uh, he goes to attack, but he's stunned. Goes to scheme, but he's confused. Encounter cards. She-Hulk first. Okay, so this will surge. He's now got the ice trait. So after he makes undefended attack, we place one threat on the main scheme. Oh, and that will surge, so... Got an avalanche. Each player must choose to either spend a energy resource or take two indirect damage. She Hulk will take two indirect. Hulk has to take two indirect. Oh, sorry, Bruce should take two indirect. And that's going to come with four threat and put an acceleration token in play. Uh, Bruce's cards. Discard one card at random from your hand. If a Zoidman has a wood trait, discard one card to control. He does not have the wood trait. Uh, so it's a random card. It'll be this one, which is unstoppable force. And this gains surge. It's got his ball and chain. Nearly knocked the cards off the table. Bruce comes first player. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card, discard a card. Crisis averted. Yeah, well, we'll hold on to that, throw away lockjaw. We'll recover four. He's up to nine. Flip up into hero. We're going to spend three resources, four crisis averted. So move six threat from the main scheme. So we're down to seven. Meanwhile, over here, We're going to spend two resources to put in superhuman strength. We are then going to exhaust the heli carrier and use energy for a split personality. So we change form, then draw up to our hand size. So we go back down to Gen and draw six cards. We have a Gamma Slam, Espionage, One Two Punch, One Two Punch. Focused Rage, and Hellcat. While we're down, we'll use Super and Law Division and Quinn Carrier. Take two threat off here. 
We will... Uh, now we'll recover five. Things up to 11. We'll flip up. Do even lift. Take Zoom in down to four. We'll then spend three resources. One, two, three. To bring Hellcat into play. So it's water two, attack of one, health three, and as an action we can return her to our hand. Uh, she's going to thwart two off the avalanche to remove that from play. Uh, we're going to hold on to our one two punches for the next round, I think. And we'll ready up. Oh, and Hellcat should have one consequential on her for thwarting. Hulk gets four cards. We have a Christ Severed, Unshakable, Death Focus, and Downtime. She all gets two more cards. We have Jessica Jones for Justice, and we deck out, getting an encounter card. Okay, we get two threat in the main scheme. And another delay counter. We... Well, he's attacking Hulk for three. Um, yeah, we'll just take it. Three plus nothing. Because undefended attack, we have to place two threat on the main scheme because we have six counters on here. In fact, we'll just... Threat 11. Over on She-Hulk, he's going to attack. She'll also just take it. So three. Uh, if there are five more delay counters, take one indirect damage. So. So he's going to hit for three, plus one direct, so four. And down to seven. And two more threat goes on here. Get our encounter cards. Um, when revealed in hero, absorbing man attacks you. If he has the stone trait, he does not. He gets plus one attack for this activation. So he's attacking Hulk again. We have to defend this one. So three plus... Four, five, two gets through, but we don't have to trigger the environment. Over on she hulks side, give the Gen Walters player. Uh, you can choose the flipped alter ego form and choose to exhaust Jennifer Walters, remove legal work from the game, or give the main scheme one acceleration token. We will flip the Gen, exhaust, and remove this from the game. And this will surge and reveal the top card in the counter deck. So, Hydra Regular with Insight. And if Absorbing Man has the Ice Trait, exhaust your identity. Well, Jack's on you, are already exhausted. Jen's turn. Okay. We will use Queen Carrier for Superhuman Law Division to take two threat off here. Um, because of our terrible situation. All right, we're going to flip up, do even lift on this guy to knock him out. We will use Heli Carrier and Jessica Jones for for justice to remove three threat from a scheme. Taking this down to nine. We'll spend a physical resource to get rid of this ball and chain. 
I'm going to back into like it's the deck of three, but it's actually not a terrible card to get. Uh, Hellcat's going to thwart two. Getting that a bit more under control. And we're going to hold on to our one two punch. Ah, uh, Hulk. Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. I'm going to spend one, put in a death focus. Spend another one to put in downtime and flip down. Downtime gives us plus two recovery. And we're ready. Shock has another three cards. Got a great responsibility, espionage, and counterintelligence. Uh, two threat goes on the main scheme. And another um, delay counter. Sorbing Man is going to attack She Hulk. We will defend with Hellcat. Two plus three, four. Hellcat gets knocked out. Uh, he's then going to scheme on Hulk for two plus minus three. We're just going to counterintelligence that. Then we'll get our encounter cards. One here. We get permanent acceleration on the main scheme. Can I cut here? Gen first. It's ball and chain as we would expect. And this card gets surge. We get the band facility, so he's gone back to metal, which will also surge. And not ego, absorb man schemes. Uh, if he has the stone trait, he does not. He gets plus one scheme. So he's scheming for three plus two is five, pushing that to 14. Bruce's first player. Um, I've got the draw his cards. Okay. Hmm. All right. We will. So we can use Death Focus Pay for our Limitless Stamina. All right. Okay. We will spend two to put in Banner's lab. Which is going to give us another plus two recovery. Uh, we are going to spend the, we can exhaust it to spend a mental resource and ask for action with the shield, uh, the helicarrier, sorry, to put in ingenuity. We are then going to recover eight, takes up to 12. We're going to flip up to hero. We're going to exhaust death focus by limitless stamina to ready. And then we are going to attack absorbing man for three, taking him down to one. Over here, good old Jen. Just going to attack. Uh, do we really want to waste that right now? Probably not.
We're going to spend two resources to put in counterintelligence. Wait, did this fall off the... I think that just fell off the main, the top of the deck there. Um, we'll then flip down. We're going to recover five. Take it up to 12. We'll do our Supreme Law Division trick to take two thread off here. Gonna hold on to one two punch and ready. Hulk gets four cards, got three here. Overwatch, so we'll leave upside the head. Get an encounter card. Actually, we won't hold on to this when we're in her form. We'll spend it to have got rid of ball and chain. Uh, which also means technically ball and chain could have come out. So I'll do this again. There's Hulk's card. And a suborbital leap. Really wants me to play suborbital leap, I think. And Jen gets six cards. We have counterintelligence. Nick Fury, Endurance, Power of Justice, For Justice, and Mockingbird. Okay. We get three threat on the main scheme. Taking us to 15 out of 24. Uh, we get another delay counter. Absorbing Man is going to attack Hulk for two. Fine, we'll deal with it. So two plus one is three. After an undefended attack, we have to discard two resources. So we'll discard a suborbital leap and an overwatch. Then over on Jen's turn, he's going to scheme for two plus one is three. And if he has the stone of wood trait, which he does not, you are stunned. So he's going to scheme for three. We're just going to counterintelligence that. So he doesn't do anything. In fact, I should have ejected at the start when it came on. So there we go. So that's done. Counter cards. Hulk first. Shadow of the past. Where are you, Absorbing Man? Haven't seen you in a while. Absorbing Man comes in. Total Destruction comes in. Putting a Hazard Icon in play. These get shuffled into the deck. Uh, so that comes in with four threat. Uh, after Zoyman attacks you, discard top card deck if it's a physical resource, uh, take two damage. And threat cannot be removed from here while ab ab abominations in play. Avalanche. Uh, Hulk is definitely going to take two damage from this thing. She Hulk. You know what? She'll also do it. She doesn't care. She's got plenty of health at the moment. And that's going to put another acceleration to play. Uh, this will get Surge. Huh. Give it to Bruce. We flip to Banner. We discard two cards from our hand. Amazing. Amazing. All right. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Let's figure this out. Quinn carry for Superhuman Law Division. Take two off here.
Uh, we'll flip up. We'll do you even lift on Abomination. We'll then attack Abomination for five, defeating him, which means our Superhuman Strength does not, does not trigger in terms of stunning and losing it. We will use the power of justice for justice to remove four threat from total destruction. We'll spend Helicarrier, Mockingbird, Endurance, and Counterintelligence to bring Nick Fury into play. Uh, after he has play, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to. Oh no, I shouldn't. Two throws. This game's not worth it. I'll draw three cards. Um, hmm. We'll spend two resources, resources to bring in Quake. Nick will thwart for two off Avalanche. Quake. What's he doing? Quake's going to attack for two. And put Absorb Man in the next stage. So he comes in with 16 health per player, so 32. And now, uh, after he activates against you, if he's got the Ice or Stone trait, you place one threat on the main scheme. If he's got the Metal or Wood trait, you take one indirect damage. And Quake has one Consequential on her. Over here. All right, well, we're going to recover eight. Takes up to 15. And we'll flip up. Look at me with these resources that go, nothing to spend them on. Okay, uh, four cards for She-Hulk. We have for Justice, Agent Coulson, Under Surveillance, and Genius. Hulk, got Cypher, Crushing Blow, Upside the Head, and Hulk Smash. We get three threat here. That take us to 17 out of 24. Absorbing Man is going to attack. Nick Fury is going to defend this. It's going for three plus four, five. If he has the ice or metal trait, which he does, give him a tough status card. Knocks out Nick. After uh, he activates, he's got metal. We take one indirect damage. Over on Hulk. Quake's going to defend this. So again, three, three, six. Quake gets knocked out. And I believe because he activated against Hulk, he takes the one indirect damage. Encounter cards. When revealed, you are stunned. If he has the ice trait, take two indirect damage. He does not, so she Hulk just gets stunned. And for Hulk, when revealed, Take three indirect damage. Uh, if he has the metal trait, it's four indirect damage. So we're taking four indirect damage. Hulk becomes first player. We will spend. Oh, oh no, really? Okay. We're going to use. No, oh, we can't spend physical. That's really annoying. All right. Hmm. 
Going to use the heli carrier and ingenuity to bring Cypher into play. Uh, Cypher is going to attack for one to knock the tough off. Then we're going to use Death Focus for a superpower and two resources to Hulk smash for 13 onto Absorbing Man, taking him down to 19. That's going to be that. Over here, we're going to use Genius to do a for Justice to take four threat off the main scheme. We're then going to Use the Quinn Carrier and Colson to put under surveillance. So this now has to thread out 28. We will attack to remove our stun. And general flip down. Already up. Hulk gets four cards, Limitless Stamina, Energy, Determination, Crisis Averted. General gets six, we have Legal Practice, Great Responsibility, Ground Stomp, Focused Rage, Strength, and Energy. Uh, we're going to get three throughout the main scheme, but we're going to object, so it's only going to be two. Taking us to 15. Absorbing Man is going to attack Hulk. Cypher is going to defend it. So he's going for 3 plus nothing. Knock Cypher out. And then he's got the Metal Trait. So we take 1 indirect damage. He's going to Scheme over here for 2 plus... If there's 5 more uh, Delay Counters, take 1 indirect damage. So he'll Scheme for 2. Take 1 indirect damage. And we also take another indirect damage from him because he activated and he has metal. Counter cards. Swing a stone. Uh, Renfield and Hero absorbing man attacks you. If he has the stone trait, he does not. Plus one attack for this activation. So it's coming for three. We will. We'll defend. So three plus. Three, so six, we take three damage. And we take one indirect from his metal ability, but we defend it so we don't have to deal with that one. And Jen gets Alter Ego. Place two threat on the main scheme. Three threat if he has the metal trait. He does, so that's gonna go up to 20 out of 28. Jen becomes first player. What can we do here? Not much. We'll do our Superman Law Division trick. Let's take that down to 18. We'll flip up to She Hulk. Do you even lift? Take Absorbing Man down to 17. We will use great responsibility and energy. Actually, sorry, we'll use legal practice and energy to put in focused rage. We'll exhaust focused rage and take one damage. To draw one card. Split personality. Hmm. Interesting.
What do we want to do with Hulk? He's just going to thwart, basically, isn't he? Yeah. All right. So... Firstly, we'll attack for five. And stun Absorbing Man. Well then... I don't want to do this. You know, we'll just spend three resources to split personality, change down the gen, draw up our hand size. Two, three, five, six. Okay. So. We can get through this, she can Gamma Slam next turn, which is probably going to almost be a game ender. So what we'll do is we'll spend one, two, three, actually no, what we'll do, we've got, since we have legal practice, we'll spend up to five cards, we can move one through it from the scheme for each card spent this way, so we're just going to do one, two, Three, four. Take off four threat from here. Then down to 14. Hold on to Gamma Slam. Over here for Hulk. Death Focus for a Limitless Stamina to ready. Uh, we will... Yeah, we're going to... Spend three resources with Determination. For a crisis averted, so after we do determination, we can move one threat main scheme and crisis averted remove six. So that's going to be one, five, which actually, yep. Taking that down to seven. Hulk will attack for three. And I know he's stunned. Like, I know I'm safe in that respect. But, I feel like you'll attack me twice and I'll be in trouble, so I'm actually going to do the crazy thing of having them both flip down, even though he's stunned, and hope he can't get up to 28 somehow. I'm all ready. Jen gets another five cards. So three, get an encounter card. Four, five, and six. Bruce gets five cards. Christ averted. Unshakable. Overwatch. Immovable object. And Machine Man. Okay. I'm out of delay counters. So we're just going to use the generic ones. And sorry, and three threats should go on here, but Jen will object. So it only becomes two. Take us to nine. He schemes on Jen. But two plus one is three. And after he activates, we metal, we take one indirect damage. Schemes on Bruce for two plus two is four. So uh, there's a four. There we go. So we're still not at 28. Uh, one indirect damage on Bruce. Encounter cards. Jen goes first. Revealed the enemy with the highest attack attacks her with, or ally with the highest attack. Uh, if none was made this way, it gets surged. So it's going to surge. These should be ready. Discard an upgrade or support you control. 
Uh, we'll get rid of Focused Rage. Can't believe Hulk didn't get that card. One more duplication, so Metal. He gets tough and heals one damage. That's not good. As for Bruce, uh, place one threat on the main scheme for every two delay counters on the main scheme. So, two, four. So we got four. Now, let me math here because I'm terrible at math. Five, nine, 13. 17 to 20. Yeah, 20, right? Yep, cool. So 20 out of 28. Over to Bruce. Let's experimental research and hope we get a Hulk smash. It's a limitless strength. Uh, we will... Throw away Overwatch because we don't need that right now. Uh, we'll spend one, two, and three to put in a movable object. So we get four hit points and retaliate. Um, we'll flip up to Hulk, we'll Crisis Averted, to remove 6th threat from here. We'll attack to remove his tough, and we'll throw Machine Man away. Um, okay. Assuming Law Division, Quinn Carrier, move to threat. Flip up to Jen. Do you even lift? Taking him down to eight. We'll attack for three. Take him down to five. Then we'll just spend four resources. One, two, three, four. Or Gamma Slam. Deal X damage to an enemy to a maximum of 15. X is the amount of damage you've sustained. She has taken 10 damage. So that's more than enough to defeat Absorbing Man. So, the Hulk's strongest one there is. Strongest ones there are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this game. As you see, I focused on Double Justice to try and stop this. I mean, there was a massive threshold. I just need them both to be able to like keep it down since... It's kind of was about their kit slowly doing the damage and keeping the threat under control for the one scheme. Um, so if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.